Hi everybody, my name is Nick Smith of JCB Partners, and today we're going to show you some tips and tricks using IBM Cognos 8 Report Studio. The tricks that we're going to review today is going to be utilizing prompt macros inside of Report Studio, and the sample that is going to be developed that we're going to show off shows the ability to dynamically sort based on the column selection as well as the sort order utilizing this technique. So I have a real simple report here developed that shows for each product line what is their revenue as well as sort or corresponding quantity. And in this case, you can see based on the selections up top, the report is currently select, is sorted by quantity as well as is sorted in the descending order. Using the prompt macros that we have set up, I can then dynamically select which column to sort by. So instead of sorting by quantity, we can now sort by revenue as well as I can change the sort order from descending to ascending. And any number of columns can be added to the sample as well. So to show you behind the scenes and how this report was put together, I'm going to open up the sample report developed in Report Studio. This is using the Go Sales database, uh, the sample database that comes with IBM Cognos. And the first thing to note here is that a very simple list of reports created using product line, revenue, as well as quantity. And then a couple value prompts have been added to the report um, to be supportive of the uh, prompt macro. So if we take a look at the column sort value prompt, a couple things to note here. There's a couple key things that have to be set up correctly. The first thing to note is that you'll see that the auto submit property has been set to yes. So any time that this value prompt is changed, the report will dynamically update. You can also notice that the parameter for this prompt value has been set to column sort param. And this is going to be utilized in the prompt macro downstream, which you'll see in a couple moments here. The final thing that we do is we set up a set of static choices within these value prompts. So in this case, the value prompt has two static choices, um, which you can see the revenue and quantity in the display. On the left-hand side, under the use value, you can see that it's actually pointing to different data items inside of the query um, to be dynamically switched based on what is selected by the user. So open bracket, revenue, close bracket, is actually a data item inside of the query. If we take a look at the sort order value prompt, it has the same properties as the column sort value prompt, except we can see the parameter has its own parameter called sort direction param. And if we look at the static choices, the display is going to show to the user ascending and descending, but the use value is going to be ascending and ascending. These are actually arguments that can be passed into a ranking that we're going to see it's utilized inside of the prompt macro. So the last thing we're going to look at is inside of the query itself. You're going to see the three data items from the three different columns in the report. And finally, there's a calculation created called column sort in order where the prompt macro actually gets utilized. So a couple things to be aware of with the prompt macros themselves. Anytime you see an expression that is open and closed with a pound sign, that means that a prompt macro is going to be utilized. Something is going to be processed before the report execution actually occurs. The next part of this is the rank function gets called. You can see it's uh, put together within a set of static strings. And then finally, uh, the prompt macro actually utilizes what's been sent in from what is selected by the value prompts. So the value prompts of column sort param and the sort direction param utilized within the prompt macro. Um, the prompt itself, the first argument is going to be the parameter selection, and the second argument is going to be the data type. In this case, because we're utilizing value prompts that are going to be a substitution of which column in the sort order, we use the data type of token to take the use value out of the value prompts and put it inside of this expression. So ultimately, this expression is going to be showing the value of rank, which column was selected, based by the order, and then an end of parentheses, and then finally a close of prompt macro. That's what makes this uh, functionality possible. And then to use this within the display of the report, the last thing we need to do is set the properties property of the list report itself to make sure that the sort order column, the calculation, gets included inside of the properties. So if I go down to the property setting here, of the list itself, you can see that the col column sort and order property has been checked so that even though it's not being displayed on the display, 
we run the report itself. You can see in the report display here that here's the column sort and the sort order value prompts up top. Both of them have the value selectable by the user. I can simply change the value from revenue to quantity. And now the report is sorting ascending by the quantity value. So it's just a cool technique to show you how to use prompt macros inside of a report. They can be used for several other things such as filters and other type of calculations. Um, but it's just a very nice way to uh, add some additional functionality to a report um, instead of calling this report to me. Again, this is next Smith from JCP Partners. Hopefully this touch and tricks is helpful this session. And uh, thank you for your time.